Hi, uh, my name is David Melrose. My sport is wheelchair curling. I have took up wheelchair curling seven years ago. Uh, the past two seasons I've been lucky enough to be part of the Paralympic squad aiming for the 2022 Beijing Paralympics. My accident was in 2010. Uh, I'm a paraplegic T8 complete. Prior to my accident, uh, I was a very keen sportsman. After my accident, I was more con concentrating on just living with my disability, coming to terms with my disability, everything was going along fine. And then I suddenly thought that there was, something was just missing. The, the, there wasn't, there was just something missing within my life. Fortunately, somebody asked me if I fancied trying wheelchair curling. Went along, tried it, found it absolutely loved it. Uh, fortunate enough to be part of a, a team which accepted me for, for who I was, to just be part of the team. The people that supported me the most is, will be my family. Since my accident, they've, they've always been there. It, that's what my focus was after the accident, was to get back to being being a dad, being part of a family again. Uh, when you spend a long time in hospital, it, 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 it's good to have a focus. Uh, and they supported me when I came out. They've, they've learned to live with my disability as much as I've learned to live with my disability. And taking up the sport, they, they have seen my desire to compete coming back and, and my focus to do something. And after the, the Worlds last year, I'll always remember that my daughter went up to my coach and thanked her because she had gotten her dad back. That's how much an impact sport and focus can have on individual lives. Since the lockdown, uh, we have technically like, a, you would say an off season from basically end of March to the beginning of August. But being part of the Paralympic squad, we have set goals and targets we have to reach each week and keep our level of fitness up. And we have programs that keep us busy during the week. We, we have to do two, two CV sessions, which could be an hour each, and it has to be strong cardiovascular stuff for stamina. We need to do two sessions within the gym or as it is with lockdown, whatever you can do in relation to gym work, which is like strength and conditioning. We have a learning session, so we're asked to kind of listen to uh, pods, read I, podcasts, read a book, something that uh, mentally stimulates you or, or can help you deal and focus, watch a game, basically try and learn about our opponents, how they like to play, how could we play against them, how do we get that edge to win within games. Since the lockdown, our coaches have found Microsoft Team. So every week we'll have uh, an hour session or two hour sessions with one of the strength and conditioning coaches. Uh, so we'll be have bands and we'll do exercises or we'll be having a two hour meeting with uh, Sheila, our coach who will go through the latest updates and how we're doing and, and basically just keeping in contact in relation to as teammates still being able to see each other as we live all over the Scotland. And also our coach keeps us up to date to exactly what's going on within British Curling and, and the, the coronavirus. This is Steve Redgrave. I've been lucky enough to meet him and talk to him for what he has achieved in sport, in such a hard sport, to be that mentally and physically tough, to put yourself through that routine that they required to be at the top, just must be amazing. His winning silver at the Worlds last year in Stirling, to be in front of your own home supporter was just absolutely brilliant. Representing your country is just, it's on another level. It, it, it's, it's hard to explain that as a young lad, you dream to be 
to represent your country, uh, whether it be football or rugby, which it was during my time, but to, to, to do it at any time, at any stage, is just special. It is so special. And it, the, the, there's so much pride comes from yourself. Your, your family uh, gets great pride in what you've achieved also. Your community gets great pride in the fact is that there's somebody through their local town or that has, has played at such a high level and, and managed to win a silver. It, it, it's, it's sport goes beyond just the winning. It's what other people gain from that back to you winning. It's just brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The goal will be to be picked to be part of the team for the Paralympics in 2022 in Beijing. That's what the goal is. And that's what the past two, three years will have been building up to that point. My ultimate goal, which is probably a bit pie sky, but what I would love to do is to win a gold medal at the Paralympics.